hello guys so um, in today's tutorial we're going to make an automotive studio rendering um, yeah so I I did this render the first this first one is from fstorm 3ds max and I wanted to what if I do that in blender if is that possible and um, yeah I did it and I found some new co uh, new tips and trick that I'm gonna share with you today and uh, I've, um, hope you will find this helpful so uh, this scene was um, everything was done in blender um, for the light texture yeah because we're going to use a light texture to get this kind of light but everything is gonna be in blender we are not going to use any external add-on any external files like the file texture um because um uh, yeah uh, we're gonna do that all in blender we are not going to use any external files except for the car you know the car texture like the sidewall like um you know but for the um, lighting and uh, for the lighting itself we are not going to use anything so um, yeah uh, enough talking and um, let's jump straight into blender yeah I'm not going to cover the, uh, this tutorial is not about um, modeling but we are we are covering shading lighting rendering and also post production i'm going to show you all my process for my daily um you know um my pipeline uh, for doing um automotive you know automotive render and um yeah so enough talking let's jump straight into blender so uh this is my car right here uh, but uh, I cannot share it with you, but you can use whatever car you want. Just take in mind that um, lighting, um, a studio um, lighting is really depends on which car you're using, on how the um, car shape is, and that's how you're gonna put light into a scene. Um, it's not an universal technique like I'm going to put the light on the side here and you're gonna do the same as I said it's, it really depends on the shape of the car but we're gonna get to that later but for right now we're going to um, texture and shading the car so um, before you start just make sure you are using uh, the Wrangler node, uh, not Wrangler add-on, and just enable it. So I already import my environment texture. You can do that by environment texture here, or you can. Um, I made my, you know, if you right click, uh, if you press Shift A, you can see uh, you can uh, search. But I made. Um, you know uh, a shortcut for that control a so just putting control a and i'm just you know taping so i already import my um, hdr here you can found free um i downloaded from um polyhaven and it's urban street free 4k so i'm going to press uh, to press control shift and uh, left click uh, no, not left click. Uh, control, uh, control T to enable the mapping and texture coordinate. And I'm going to plug the color to the color of the background. So, yeah, let's press render. So, yeah, there it is. I'm going to bump up my background, my back background strength a little bit. So we're going to start from the tire i don't know i always love tire <laughs> so um tire is um what i'm going to do here i'm going to go on my specular and let's put a color here first so a black a 
pure black coral doesn't exist in real life so you need to push that a little bit uh, like a value of uh, you know not a pure black or not a pure white not a pure black but just bump that out a little bit so uh, tire shader is a little bit rough um, you can uh, 0.2 is like that but we're going to use a texture for that uh, later but i'm going to make my roughness to 0.5 so i'm going to i already imported my sidewall texture here but yeah just tape image texture and we're going to import um you know a dirt um texture here so if you press Ctrl Shift, oh, let me enable my screencast key. I think. If you press Ctrl Shift and left click, you're going to visualize the texture. So, and if you press Ctrl T, you're going to enable the um, texture and mapping uh, node. So, uh, this tire is not UV unwrapped. Actually, it is, but it is for for this tire set wall here that it came for um, as a map for the texture set wall but you know the UV mapping here is horribly it's terrible so instead of do that you do oh, of unwrapping this because I'm gonna mess up the um, UV map for this tire set wall the easiest way is to put um, the vector uh, uh, to object and you're gonna choose this to box and now you need just to play with a scale you can select all and maybe play 0.1 but the easiest way is to put a value node here plug that into the scale and now you can just type a value so I'm going to I think 0 0.05 is working fine but you see here, you can see the seam. So in order to get rid of that, just play with the blend amount here. All right, so we got our uh, dirt texture. Why do I need that? Because I'm going to um, texture, I'm going to use which one here? A mix color, yeah. I'm going to mix a color that and this texture is gonna separate those color. For example, I'm going to use blue, I'm going to use red, and if I put my color to the factor here and press mix, uh, press uh, Ctrl Shift left click, sorry, and you can see that the texture, the black is gonna be blue and the white is gonna be red. So, and that's what we want. Let's connect that into the base and connect this principle and I'm going to put that to black and just try to put it black All right so I'm going to put this a little bit higher and I'm going to as you can see as I lift this uh, B color here to a little uh, to a lighter color you can see that we have a break here. We have, um, you know, like a dirty uh, tile. But we are not going to do a, a overdo that because um, that's at a studio when the car is supposed to be clean, <laughs> not dirty. So we are not going to do that. Um, um, we're going to do it, but settle, not too much. So. That is our, uh, you know, um, our first, uh, um, our color, um, you know, our base color for texture. And for the roughness, instead of using a value here, I'm going just to, you know, um, use another, um, another uh, map to control the roughness. So I'm going to use uh, another um, texture that is going to be third 10. Let's visualize that. And yeah. 
So what would happen if I plug that into the roughness? And there we go. You got <laughs> you get this. But I think it's too much. It's too much. We need to control the contrast about the black and the white white color so in order to do that let's just put a map range you can also use um you know a color ramp here but i'm not a big fan of color ramp because with map range i have more control so what we're gonna do here if you uh there is this mean to max value so zero is gonna be the black here and um one is gonna be the white so if i'm plugging the put if i'm put a higher number to the max here the white gonna be more white so it's a very good way to control you know the contrast of your texture so we're going to put a value to mean here maybe to point three and we're going to put uh, maybe i don't know, point zero Seven, um, 0.75 and let's visualize it and voila you got this and you can always play maybe 0.1 to get more contrast but you know um just experiment on your side and um yeah that's it so that is my roughness and now let's take care of the bump so i have this tire set wall here Actually, it's uh, it is reverse. Uh, yeah, it reverse. But anyway, we are not for, um, take care. Um, we need to unwrap this, but this um, tutorial is not about unwrapping. But we're gonna use this, and also you can you can search on Google Tayo Sedwal. There is a lot of there, and you can use that instead of this. All right. So um, we have this Tayo Sedwal. And we need a bump, bump texture, and we're going to put. Um, ah, I'm going to put that to non-color because every map, every texture you import, except for the diffuse color that has color, you need to put them in a non-color color space, right? And put the color to eight here, and put it to the normal. So let's click it and as you can see it's very very strong let's lower strength to no kind of point five maybe uh and then yeah but i'm not really satisfied with that i i always find that um car touch um you know car um sh shader has always kind of this little bump here let me show you. So let's take a nose texture. Let's control T. And let's put the scale to 20. Uh, I don't know. Scale to 200. Or maybe 300. Yeah. And instead of a sidewall first, let's put the factor to 8 to the 8 here and let's visualize there you go you can see you have this little bumpy texture here let's put our scale here but we're going to mix this two all right so uh, we're going to mix this two so how to do that i'm going to show my sidewall and also my most texture so we need to use another mixer ah yeah just grab this and instead of creating a new one i'm going just to grab this mix we already have here and just put this to the color and put this to the color b and plug the result to the eight so now we have the both of the texture but the noise texture is too strong so in order to control that just search for math node here like that and uh, use multiply so I'm, I'm going to lower the value here like uh, you know 
that out. Zero, zero, 001 maybe. And you can see here we still have the bump texture, bumpy texture here, but we still have the tire. And maybe I'm going to lower that down to point four maybe. And uh, yeah, voila. And uh, I think it still work. It works fine for a studio rendering. Maybe for an exterior, you know, exterior. Um, other than a studio rendering, you need to add more texture. But I'm gonna do that right now. Um, I'm going to show you how to add some additional, um, you know, additional texture. So I'm going to create um, another principal PSTF that we're gonna mix that later. I'm going to import um, a new texture that that there is going to be this dirt that already from Google. So let's see. Um, so point one maybe. Yeah, point one is working great. And I'm going to use a color. Uh, no, view saturation value here. And I'm going to lower down my um, saturation to make it more like a dot. Maybe here we can press with a blender. Yeah, anyway. And I'm going to plug that to the base color here. So we got something like that. And I'm going to take the same here, but I'm going to totally lower my saturation, even if it's already black and white. But just to be sure, I'm going to duplicate this saturation. So in order to duplicate a node, but keeping the connection is Control Shift D. And you still keep the connection here, but I do have another, uh, you know, um, saturation value here. And um, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to put that to the to bump and color to the 8 and bump to the normal. And let's see. And uh, yeah, I think that should be okay for now. So, what are we gonna do here? I have two textures to shader one is this and one is this. So we need to separate this. We need to separate this um, texture. So what I'm going to do is, is put a gradient texture. There we go. So mine is already mapped correctly, but I don't know about yours, but you, if, you, if it doesn't map correctly, you need to play a little bit with this rotation here. For example, 90 degree, well, uh, let's see. I don't know, play with that or with that, you know, just play, but mine is mapped correctly, so yeah. And let's add a color grab because I need to define, um, it's a little bit messy here, oh, let's organize that a bit. I need to, um, I, I want my white to be just, you know, above the sidewall. So in order to do that, let's change this to white and just press control to you know to create a new point and let's put that to white. So as you can see now I'm just um make this white um, to go higher but because there is a sidewall and I'm going to add another white color here there we go on the other side if we go to solo that there we go and I'm going to push that there we go so this 
this is gonna be if i'm going to mix let's test it in order to mix to shader uh you can just you know do that and oh we need first a mix shader and you can for example drag this to shader and drag this to one but the easiest way is to click ctrl shift and right click and drag it to the shader you want to mix with and boom voila we got it and i'm going to put that color into the factor so let's control shift and left click see so it's invert but in order to re invert i need this to be in the first part just press alt s and there we go it's mixing so um it's too strong it's really really too strong so i need to you know lower down my my uh, my second shadow here you, you see if i mute this as the value is 0.5 the, the shadow the first shadow is yeah it's become uh, less visible and that's what we want so let's uh, yeah. mm -hmm. point two. yeah and point two is working fine point two is working very very fine yeah, yeah you can fine tune that if you want to i can still add another ramp here and really you know uh, maybe choose b spine i don't know so this is before this is after and you can yeah you can add another like that and if you want it to be more contrasted for example you can add another math node here put it to multiply and uh, give it a value of five for example and plug this to this another multiply oh no not another one and put that into the shell yeah it's um <laughs> and you need to lower that a little bit yeah it's really up to you just um um you know just um experiment with it and try to find something new and try to don't don't hesitate don't hesitate but just you know do it all right all right uh, maybe i'm going to lower that to 0 0.3 maybe Zero frame, and that's it. So, um, I'm done with the tire texture here, and let's move into the carpet shader. So, let's uh, do the carpet shader. This is really an easy carpet shader, I didn't care about you know, uh, for my purpose, it worked it's working fine you can find a lot of tutorial about carpent out there but you know i have my own way own way of doing carpent and i'm going to show you that right now so instead of using this principal piece let's um, create another a new principal psdf wow i really love that white bro. <laughs> let's test it I've never done um, a white carpet shader it's always blue or black or red but I've never done a white one but anyway <laughs> let's um, let's do it so I'm going to do the same color as it was in my uh, 
something like that, maybe a little bit darker. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. So this is going to be our first um, shadow. I'm going to put my metallic all the way to one. And I'm going to um, the roughness to kind of point three. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So this is our first shadow. Let's duplicate this. And for this one, let's make it more lighter or lighter and more you know and I'm going to make it really really glossy like uh, 0 0.5 something like that and yeah and I'm going to mix it together so zero is the really shiny metallic color and um one is this um rough metallic and i'm going to mix this two by using um fall off uh, no, no 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 it was final <laughs> um final or fall off it's same thing but only the name the um is not the same so I'm going to plug that into the factory and uh, it's going to mix it. Yeah, um, Alt S yeah. and I'm going to lower that to oh, 1.3 for example. And uh, yeah, as this is as I remember, car shading is the way you look at it in front of you is more blurry, but the way it's far from her, it's really reflective. And yeah, let um, me share, let me check. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, and my car is done. My car shadow is done. Let you know you have this variation of color here but um, to spice these things up let's add um, you know a normal map this normal map here is it, it's from Jeff Patron if I remember right it's a carpent, it's an f storm carpent material, but I just took the normal map uh, texture here. You can download it for free, Jeff Patton or Jeff Patron, I don't, I don't remember. I'm going to put the link in the des description so you can download it and you just, you can take this, um, you know, this um, uh, normal map here. And I'm going to put it to non-color, so let's visualize it. Control T and object and box. Let's put a value here. Oh, not that. Here into the scale. And let's choose a really low value thing. Mm, yeah. So five. Yeah. And let's put that into a normal map. Color and normal. So let's see. It's too big. It's too strong. So um, let's lower that to point zero four. 05. I'm not going to make it very, very obvious here, but you know, there we go. We have a very nice flake here. 
Yeah, and uh, we're going to see the result here. Yeah, that's here. Flex is here. And um, yeah, that's that's uh, let's see, point seven. And yeah. Yeah, and that's my way of doing carpent. It's done. But as I said, you can always experiment with it if you want to. But um, yeah, don't follow exactly what I'm doing. Just experiment on your side and um, you're gonna find something new, something different, something better. But I'm just sharing with you my techniques. All right. So my carpent is done. And let's move on on finishing all the other part. All right, let's uh, for the other part. We're going to make it um, really quick. I'm not. We're not going to waste time, a lot of time here. And uh, so let's take a break. This here. I already have a um, tire that came with the model to break disc. So um, I'm going to make it very metallic here. And put this a little bit. It's um, roughness, let's say about 0.3 or 0.2. Put uh, it more higher. And this, let's use a bump color to 8 and normal to normal. Let's lower it. Disk done. Let's uh, for the you know for the rim. Uh, same deal, metallic on. Bring this and lower down the roughness. Yeah. Maybe put it a little bit darker. I think. You can always add some, um, you know, some image texture to control the, the roughness, but I'm not, you can do that on your side. I'm not going to do that here, right? I'm just finishing up the texture and for the chrome here, same deal. Put that very, very, um, chrome is about, yeah, chrome is very, very light. And for this, uh, I don't know, um, roughness to 0.5, put the metallic on, and just lower it. Oh yeah, great. For glass, I just use the default glass PSDF here. Yeah? And also for this glass PSDF. All right, for the for the tie light, yeah, I just use another glass. But let's change the color here to something like white. Yeah, that's working fine. And this is, um, I think it's orange. Yeah, it's orange. There we go. This is another glass, yeah. And this is metallic. Principal BSDF yeah. metallic all the way. Offense to 
2.5 maybe. Sam Texture has. Wait, does this? Oh, the same texture. Yeah. Maybe let's do it so can make it a little bit darker. Yeah. And here for this grill, it's a black plastic. Back to black, not pure white. Plastic is about 0 0.2. You can also add some bump map over here if you want to. Um, this is chrome. Already have a chrome there, but you know. let's do it. Let's hide that H and yeah, the thing is working fine here. Yeah. This glass here, yeah. do the same thing. Take a glass, change it to something like orange. Edge and uh, for the interior, let's add the glass. Let's select this and uh, let's lower down the roughness to 4.5. So I um, have a thing here. Yeah. Don't respect you. Yeah. Not going to really. Great, 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 great. For this license plate here. Yeah. Black. One roughness to about 0.23. A bit black, yeah. And for this exhaust here, yeah. it's going to be metallic. Roughness. You can control it by, you know, just put it. Putting some maps here yeah, to get some dirt. But in our view, yeah, we're not seeing it. But yeah, as I said, uh, maybe here, let's make it a little bit darker, I think. And here is still glass. Uh, yeah, let's hide. All right, orange already. Here, same deal. A little bit black here, yeah. metallic all the way. Take down the roughness. Yeah, I think we are done. We are ready to go to the lighting section and um, yeah. All right, guys, we are done with the car uh, shaders so yeah let's move on to the um, lighting section see you there so I have already made a studio plane here and um, I turned on my light my um, back background light here to zero so it's totally black, there is no light. So let me explain you something about light. 
light is not just uh, you know um, a weight um, like you place a sofa an area light here and uh, you light your car light is oh, you always have fall off light is um, you have this fall off here it's not totally white but it does have this fall off here like it's not a harsh um, you know a light with emission with um, white tech, uh, with, um, white light but it always has this fall off right there as you can see here especially here in this windshield let me show you an example so if I turned on my example light if we're just an area light right so let me render this and here you can see here in the windshield it's there we go you can see it's totally white there is no way light is like that in real life it's it always has this fall off like um if you see some references about studio rendering it's there is a soft box and the um, light is fading out fading in like you can see here here it's totally different it's really harsh it's really sharp light here and that's no light is working so let me show you how i'm doing my um light here let me show you my final light and there we go oh shoot this is what i'm using so i'm using a gradient to uh, to control the you know the fall off of the light and i'm using an emission and i mix it with a transparent and this gradient with this ramp is controlling the mix shader here and as you can see i'm using a plane not a light because i didn't figure out how to put light or to put texture in um, light in blender i str i'm always struggling with that but if you guys know how to do it just let me know and um yeah so uh, i'm going to turn on the light and i'm going to put a plane instead of a light so let me scare this and i'm going to put a new texture I'm going to put an emission and there we go so we need to go um because it's blocking the camera here my camera is uh, where's my camera oh. camera is here and it's block <laughs> it's been blocking by the light so in order to fix that you go to here to your object properties and go to ray visibility and camera turned on and voila you got it and you can control it know, by 10 and some problem here with um like the area light i showed you before it's very very hard it's very very sharp uh, let me just bring this to here so you can see here into the in the windshield so let's put a gradient texture here and there you go you already see the difference here but uh, let me just turn on my ray visibility again and let me show you there you go and the way you control it there you go the way you uh, move uh, ramp here you can control um, how the light will be uh, how the reflection gonna be so um why i'm using a transparent because if i'm turning on my strength here you can see there's still this black here this black um 
emission here so i think yeah it will be visible in the in the reflection so that's why i'm using the transparent to kill the black and we are living just with the weight here so i'm going to use transparent here and mix this two and boom and this gradient is going to be our factor so that white that dark is now disappearing as you can see here oh shit and let me turn back my you can see the back is disappearing black sorry so that's why i'm using transparent and let's turn back uh, turn back off the ray visibility here and let's go to our camera and let's now bring this to here and now you can for example lower down your reflection and maybe turn that on as you can see here there you go and this is how I'm doing my light okay there you go so that's the technique that I'm using. So right now, um, let's let let me show you now my light. Let me start with this background here. For the background, I'm using um, I'm just lighting the background to show the uh, silhouette of a car here. So, but for this, I'm using a simple area light because this is not going to be shown on the reflection uh, because it's pointing on the other on, on the other side on the other way, and I'm just using a simple area light to just bring to show the silhouette of a car here. And now, let me. I'm not following the rule of you know um, third light like rim k on top i'm not following that i'm just doing it um you know um because you need to reveal some details of the car and if you stick to the rule of rim k top you're not going to show all the details of a part of the car so let me show you so this one is this and as you can see same techniques here and um, the gradient and the color ramp and the transparency and the emission and here i'm just control ah uh, yeah instead of linear i'm using b spline and i'm controlling how bright or how transparent the light gonna be here and with an emission of 14 14 so um and always make sure you are as you can see here i'm showing up this curvature here of the car and also the windshield that's why i'm not going to do this light plasma from scratch because it takes times so i'm just breaking it down for you and you can see here i'm, I'm showing i'm revealing the shape here this um um the curvature here of a car that's the light another light is the back here right but we'll go back to that later and this is another one you can see here i'm still revealing this my light placements are not good <laughs> uh, i have to say that because uh, i didn't take too much time to do it i was i just found the technique and um, let me just try that and um yeah so this is another uh light here same technique here color ramp mission and 
this is on top here to I, I wanted to have this reflection on the front of a windshield here and also this reflection here on the um, headlight right because you need to place it somehow and I also wanted to so this curvature here it really showing up the um, shape of the car so and another light here the rim the rim here is revealing you know the grill grill of the car and also the logo here and another rim is revealing the side of this part here and also the headlight because headlights are very important in uh, studio rendering automotive rendering because this rim is re revealing this grill and this other rim is revealing this other side of a car and finally the top here is revealing this side of a car also the hood here and also we get this reflection on the windshield so in total i have one two three four five six seven lights so if i turn that on all there we go we got this result and this plane here is just a little bit dark gray with all roughness set to one and with a backlight yeah and boom you got it and uh, that's really everything about lighting just you need to place it um somewhere to show the details of the car but um yeah that's uh, really it also i did i think some of the lights are not um i, I turned on the glossy of some of them like this plain one here for example plain four sorry i just wanted to diffuse the diffuse here but i didn't want the glossy here so if i turn on the glossy you can see we have reflection here but i didn't want that i just want the diffuse to light the dark area out there and um, which one also yeah i think that's this one only this plain four and um yeah that's it and just place um your light as you want it and try to reveal the curvature here of a car for example this and on the hood here and the headlight but the techniques the technique are the same as I showed you before so yeah that's really it and uh, you just need to hit render and um, I see you in the post-production process so uh, here we are in Photoshop so this is my raw render out of uh, from Blender and this is the result that we want to achieve so I'm going to add a curve here as always always make my image a little bit contrastier yeah? and that's the first pass and I'm going to add another pass here yeah, and that I'll bring up all the you know exposure of the image uh, let me show you I just bring that back can see here it's very very contrasty here yeah? and here I'm adding another curve on top to you know to bring up back of the dark area right so I'm putting that into a group of a thing control J and control G to duplicate it in case I need to go back that's right and just um, make um, collapse of a group here and I'm going to duplicate that 
and I'm going to add a filter and I pass. I think that's I pass because my Photoshop is in French version, but you can, I think it's high pass. Yeah. So high pass here. What I'm going to do here is to kind of, you know, bring back some contrast. You can already see it here. I don't know if you can see it on, on your screen, but you can see here. And I'm going to put that into um, add. I don't know what to uh, add or um, uh, yeah. So I'm going to add that here. And you can see we bring back some with, uh, contrast here, especially here on this rose curvature. So, but I'm going to lower that to something not much, maybe 50%. Right, and I'm going to um, collapse all the layer again, and I'm going to always duplicate it just in case, and add um, this um, a camera row here, and uh, clarity. Just bring up the clarity here. Really, really high, not that high, but almost. And uh, press OK. And so now uh, this is with the clarity, and this is the one. And just lower down the opacity here. Lower that down a little bit. So wave about. Let me see. It's adding a little bit of, yeah, there you go. So, actually I'm going to bring that to 100 here. Yeah. So before, after, yeah. So last thing is I'm going to you saturation again and maybe bring that back to something like that bring the saturation before after there I go there I go and I'm going to add another cover to bring that back the all the dark area here. And yeah, and what you can do else is adding another curve, bring that back and just control I to invert the mask and you can paint the area you want to be more well, for example, X to change um, the color here, and you can bring like that. There you go. You can bring this area here. You can paint like that. Just um, spend a little bit of time, you know, on it, and um, yeah. So yeah, we got it. We got the same result here. But you can do a lot more. Just um, you know, spend a little bit of time and uh, um, yeah. Maybe the last thing we're going to do here is to add a little bit of vignette here and just collapse all the layer again, go to filter and um, lens corrector and maybe add a little bit of vignette here, like 30% uh, too much, 
negative 20 and that's it we have a little bit of vignette here and uh, yeah so that's it guys and um, we are reaching the end of the tutorial so i hope you found something useful um and uh, yeah i hope you like the tutorial and uh, you found something useful you found some trick and tips and um yeah so i'll see you next time and um don't forget to subscribe to not missing another content so don't forget to subscribe because i'm i'm already preparing another tutorial and uh, yeah until then see you